This is Wayne Art, back with another lesson, and today we've got my favourite Stone Roses song, Made of Stone. I absolutely love this song. Uh, I did this a number of years ago, wanting to do a new version, a new lick of paint, a uh, bit more thoroughly on the breakdowns and everything. Uh, I've added a lot of things in, like the bass lines and things like that, that make it work, in my opinion, really well on an acoustic guitar. So it's not dead easy to play. Um, I think when, once you get into the chords, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but other than that, just an amazing song and a great one to get down. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning. And first of all, the intro, which is probably the trickiest part of the song. Uh, it all does this as the intro, also does it as the outro as well. Uh, so I play... Now, I think with the fingering, it's easier to do it this way that I'm doing. So I've got my second finger, that will be on the 8th fret on the B string. Third finger, 9th fret on the G. I mean, a little pink pinky to start off with is on the 10th fret on the top E string and we've got to do this little picking pattern which will go exactly the same throughout the different chord shapes so we're picking the G E B G E B G E so G E B G E B G E okay so that's your first move so nice and slowly Okay, the next move we're going to keep fingers two and three where they are. We're just going to move the little pinky on the same string, that's on the top E string, down to the ninth fret, and we're going to do the same picking pattern again. Okay, the next move we're going to have a little finger swap, so we're going to take the little pinky off, but we're going to put the first finger on, that's also on the A fret, but that's on the top E string. Same picking pattern again. Okay, and the last move we're going to move the first finger to the seventh fret on the top E string. Okay, it's nice to do this little just before you go back round again. So that's on the seventh fret on the B. I'm just hammering on to eight, a little sort of trill, a hammer on and a hammer off. So hammering on from seven to eight, back to seven again. Okay, so that goes round again. The second time round, we're just going to strum that as a chord. There we go. Then we've got this little bass line that's really cool to put in just before the chords come in. So, okay, so that's seven on the A string to five on the A string, seven five on the low E, the third fret, and then we come in with the chords. So we get this. Okay, now the verse chords are an E minor, a D, a little lift off there if you want to do a little embellishment to a D. Then we've got a C. Okay, and then you can either do a B chord. Okay, but I think it's quite nice doing this sort of B sus four almost like a three finger power chord and you find you can get this little bass line in so my first finger is on the second fret on the a third finger fourth fret on the d little pinky will be fourth fret on the g and we get this so we take the first finger off and then the second finger will go on the third fret on the low e string first finger second fret so we get this right. 
Works really well, I think it's quite nice putting that bass line in. So, okay, so with the words, so we get this. Your knuckles white turn on the wheel. The last thing that your hands will feel. Your final flight can't be delayed. No word in the sky is so serene. Your pink black lips let go of screen. Deep frying melt, I love the scene. Sometimes, okay, then we got the chorus part, which is going to be a G, a D, and a C chord. So I'll just sing that through so you can see how those chords gel together. Sometimes I... So on this, on this little sort of link into verse 2, I think it's nice on an E minor just to take the second finger on it. Or take both fingers off so we get this. On the D. Set the second finger off, we've got the C. And we've got the little bass line. Okay, so we've got another verse, another chorus. Uh, the guitar solo basically goes over the verse chords. We've got another chorus, and then the outro is like we did at the beginning, but it obviously it plays it a little bit slower. So. We'd finish off like that, okay. So that just leaves us with the strumming pattern, so I tend to use... So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that is pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, one of the best songs by one of the best bands in the world, in my opinion. There you go, and I think it works really well, that particular version on an acoustic guitar. Ad adding those little dynamics in with the, the bass lines and everything. So, uh, like I say, hope you all dug that. If you've got any other requests for any other Stone Rosie songs, I have covered quite a lot of the obvious ones if you want to check those out, but uh, if you've got any requests for any others that you'd like me to do, or not just Stone Rosie songs, any from 50s to modern day that's going to work well on an acoustic guitar. A lot of you know the drill now, so you could either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days is on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and believe it or not, now also TikTok. You're not going to see me doing any stupid dances or anything on there. I'm just going to post the odd video up, you know, some of my original songs. Um, but if you want to go over and give me a follow or a like on those platforms I'd really appreciate that and then if you want to you know you can find me a personal message over it requesting a song uh, I do always try and reply to messages you just got to respect to get quite a lot so we do have to sort of hen pick the songs a little bit but don't let that put you off please do keep your songs coming that's what keeps this channel going thanks for your continued support thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so uh, if you are subscribed, a further way you could help me out is hitting the little notification bell that's somewhere down there so you get notified every time I post a video up so you can keep up to date. Uh, another way, I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing, so please like and share my videos if you dig what I do. Tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar or might have just started playing a guitar, please point them in my direction, I'd really appreciate that. So that just leads me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching. I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.